Here's Brody Brazil. I got to tell you, I've been thinking about Patty in the back of my mind these last couple days and really week or two as training camps have started and you haven't heard much from the Marlowe camp. I intend to reach out sooner than later here, just kind of see what's going on. And I'm not, a, I'm not trying to break stories here. I just want to communicate to you, the fans, because I know you're interested too. And I'd love to interview him at some point. Love to just see how he's doing, what his thoughts are. But, but before I even get the chance to talk to him, let me say this, because I, I, have, I have what I think is a best case scenario for Patty. And this is unconventional, but I think it makes sense. I want him to play in the second half of this season. And maybe not even for the Sharks. So why, why am I saying this? I think when you're a veteran player, when you're his age, when you're of his accomplishments and his achievements, you have earned the right in your final year or two to skip training camp, to skip October, November, December, maybe even January, and to join a respective NHL team that you know is going to be contending, that you know is building, that you know is going the right direction, but also, like, it's a two-way street. This team's not going to take you on as a, as a charity case. They're not just going to sign, you know, and he's Patrick Marlowe, for goodness sake. But he's, you know, at the tail end of his hockey career. But I think there are suitors out there like that. And as their seasons go along, they look at him and they know for sure. Like, looking at Patty, there's a couple things you know. Number one, great teammate. Number two, look at the resume. Uh, but number three, you know he is absolutely going to stay in tip-top shape. He's going to find the right ways to train. He knows what to do. You don't have to worry about him being ready for this season, even if he joins it halfway through. How's he going to do that and at NHL speed? Maybe there's some type of, uh, like in baseball, you do a rehab assignment. Maybe there's just some way. He, I, I'm not going to say specifics. He, he can figure that part out. He absolutely can. So I don't even think it's going to be the Sharks, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and, and why do I say that? Even if they were one of those contending teams and things were headed in the right direction. And I think in San Jose, maybe they have focused on new chapter, new direction. Even for him to be around last year, it was special. It was sentimental because of breaking Gordy's record. But my, my point is, I think this could be an option. I certainly hope this could be an option. And I also want to say, this is not reserved for everybody. You can't be 34 at the end of your career and doing this. Like, oh, this is for legends only. <laughs> you know, like, I, I'm not mad at any hockey player in his situation who would do something like that. And I think it's possible. So I'll close it out by saying, I absolutely hope we have not seen the end of Patty in the NHL.